Hey guys, welcome back here with another GFCI issue with the SPA disconnect, okay? So, this is the line right here that's coming from the SPA itself, okay? You see it comes up and then it cut has four wires popping out, okay? It's got the ground, we can see that one, okay? It's got the neutral and the two hots, okay? And they all, those three will go into this GFCI. The GFCI will automatically come with this little curly pigtail right here, okay? So all in all, it has four wires coming into this GFCI, okay? It's got that pigtail it comes with, and then three other wires should be feeding up in here, okay? Now, as usual, if you look right here, these ports are labeled, okay? There is a load charge here, a load right here, and a load right here, but it's different, okay? You can see this one has a white diagram and the letter N. This is the neutral load. Can you tell me what's wrong with this picture? That's right, you guessed it. The neutral wire is not going into the neutral load, okay? They have a hot wire coming into the neutral load for some reason. Whoever wired this, I have no idea. I'm assuming it's an experienced electrician. But these two wires are incorrect. This will cause your spa to trip this breaker continuously until this issue is fixed. Now, you need a an experienced electrician to make this transition for you to ensure that your spa is wired correctly, okay? Any kind of professional electrician that completes this should be able to assume any kind of liability issues, okay? So because I did not wire this, I cannot make this transition, okay? Even though I know how, I'm just simply not legally allowed to, okay? But I can inform the customer that their spa is not gonna power correctly because of these two wires. They just need, simply need to be flipped, 